All right, I'm recording now. All right, we're back with Impa. Uh. And we're going to talk about stuff. The plot and such. That's what most of this episode's going to end up being. Mm. You can just read it, oh. unless you can't see. I guess, then you can't read it. That's really bad. <clears throat> so did that. Oh well. We're already rolling. Some words. Apparently very important. Oh. However. Oh. Oh, is she gonna give me a task? Scene. The history of the royal family of Hyrule is also the history of Calamity Ganon, a primal evil that has endured over the ages. This evil has been turned back time and time again by a warrior wielding the soul of a hero and a princess who carries the blood of the goddess. With the passage of time, each conflict with Ganon faded into legend. So listen closely as I tell you of this legend that occurred 10,000 years ago. Hyrule was then blossoming as a highly advanced civilization. Even the most powerful monsters posed little threat to the denizens of the realm. The people thought it wise to utilize their technological prowess to ensure the safety of the land should Calamity Ganon ever return. They constructed four mechanical wonders that came to be known as the Divine Beasts. They also built a legion of autonomous weapons called Guardians. The Divine Beasts were piloted by four individuals of exceptional skill from across the land. And thus, the plan to neutralize Ganon was forged. Upon Ganon's inevitable return to Hyrule, the princess and the hero fought alongside these four champions against this ancient evil. The Guardians were tasked with protecting the hero as the Divine Beasts unleashed a furious attack upon their terrible foe. And when the hero wielding the sword that seals the darkness delivered his final blow, the princess used her sacred power to seal away Calamity Ganon. Oh. 
Oh, that was pretty cool. Yeah. I just didn't want to interrupt it. That's why I stopped talking. So I think the idea, the main idea here is that, um, Ganon was defeated oh. easily by the Divine Beast. And... So instead he just took them over this time because of his power. So, yeah, I gotta bring the Divine Beast back to our side. Ooh, I hope the Blight Ganons aren't stronger. Yeah. And of course, they're on completely opposite sides of the map. So basically the idea is that you're supposed to explore the entire map to get the guardians um, and then you go and fight Ganon. And that's what I'm going to do. Plus some episodes that are just, um, just random exploration. Also, that's a really cool artwork. The one with the Ganon and the beasts and all the guardians. Complete. Alright. I can go up here. I think some pious stuff is up here. And there's like this thing about how she likes Link, but that might not be here yet. Hello, Pia. This is cool. Anyway. I'm gonna go figure out something. To do. Like the shrine. Did I do the shrine yet? Yep. Okay, I guess I could go visit the first great fairy fountain. What's up with these bugs? Is that just a visual effect? Ooh, shroom. Yeah, I think I'm gonna go... I think I'm gonna get some rupees and visit the Great Fairy Fountain. Ooh, I might want to buy some arrows, too. Hey, Kato. Uh, this is the arrow store, I think. Hello, arrow lady. Fire arrows. 80 for 5. Or 20 for one. I don't want to spend that much because I want to see how much. How do you stay in business then? Why, why do you just stand here all day if no one wants to buy your stuff? That doesn't make any sense. Ooh, these are nice. Boko guts. I think. I think I have some other stuff that's pretty valuable. Oh, I forgot you can sell the cooked stuff. Pretty sure that makes it a bit more valuable. Um, it's interesting, I never thought. Also, the gems. These are really valuable ones. And apparently the sapphire is the most valuable, so... I'm gonna use the money from that to oh. buy some fire arrows. Can I just buy two? Yeah. Oh. And oh. some regular arrows. Oh. All right. It's always good to stock up on arrows because you never know when you'll need them. Because there's some specific challenges that you can make much easier by... That's very cool. He has a stick. There's some challenges, shrines, that you can make much easier by just having, like, fire arrows or something like that.
All right. Um, what do I want to cook? There we go. No, oh, that didn't happen at all. Give me those. Two of those, two of those. This should be... Oh, just a meat skewer. Alright. Uh, I think I want some lighter things. I think I'm just gonna cook them right there. Alright, well, I got some more baked apples. Uh, now I'm gonna head up to the Great Fairy Fountain and give her some money so that she can be alive again, I guess. I don't know. That's how it works. I guess fairies are just very money hungry. Ooh, also, it's very good to get fairies because they will basically revive you when you die. Up to five hearts. So they're not as beneficial late game, but by late game you don't get killed uh, by every enemy. Oh, but I forgot. I'm playing the... Hello, rabbit. Pretty sure if I shoot him, he gives me money. Which makes sense. A lot of valuable things around the fairy fountain. Mainly fairies. Come here. I'm gonna get you. Ha ha. Also, I think you could just eat them, apparently. Because it had five hearts on it, so that's interesting. But you also have to sneak up on them. That's why I'm doing this. Because otherwise they just fly away and disappear. Four, that's pretty good. Alright. Now let's talk to the plant lady. Kotera. She needs money to become whole again. Of course she does. Quickly. I I really wish they hadn't staged this so much like a scam. But there were probably, there's probably a reason for it. Like just a random giant hand that goes, Hey, give me your money. <laughs> and that is Kotera, the first of the great fairies. There's like four of them, I think. And they all can... Do the same thing, they just enhance your uh, armor. Ah. Alright, let's mm. see if I can enhance anything. You can't enhance your switch shirt? That's Oh, just both ah. That's definitely good. Mm. And I believe <gasps> you can get special effects from gear if you wear the full set and it's fully enhanced. It might not even need to be fully enhanced. Mom? It's always good to enhance your gear because then you can... When they've been enhanced twice, you get a bonus if you wear the whole set. Got enhanced gear. Talk to Empa and cook some items. Got some money. Not a general stuff, but that's the uh, basically the most beneficial thing about towns is the fact that there's a bunch of stuff you can get. 
Abrazo.